thank you very much. Thank you. I sure hope you like the next trick because I was rehearsing this thing for so many years because, you know, believe me, I, I had no childhood whatsoever. And I, I said to my governess, I said, Tanta, she's an Indian guide, you know. I said, I hope they enjoy this trick. And incidentally, if any of you folks would care to examine any of the paraphernalia that I enjoy during my repertoire, it's absolutely out of the question. <laughs> That's the first joke. Now, this thing is very simple. It consists of uh, two sticks of wood, you know. And uh, running through the upper ends of the two sticks, we find a length of string which, having nothing else to do, runs freely and happily through the upper ends of the two sticks. Fascinating, isn't it? In order to complicate matters a bit, it is quite necessary to take a pair of scissors that I happen to have embedded in my chest and cut the string. And, and just to prove to you that I told the truth, I separate them and you can see that there's no connection whatever between them. We now place them together and upon pulling on the string, we find it restored to its original condition. Now, aren't you glad you put that last payment on your TV set? You know, I, I hope you won't think I'm being boastful or anything, but to me, the unusual, the uncanny, is the fact that even though the six are separated, that the string lets do just the same. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Oh, but that's a doll. I hear somebody sneering at me, and I know what you're thinking. I'll bet you think the string runs down the stick and up and out the other end. You think it goes around the stick? You know, I have another terrific trick on this. <laughs> Young lady, please, if you will, would you be good enough to take this in your own hands and would you mind cutting the string, if you will? Oh, stellar performance. There's no substitute for skilled labor. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> of course, I know you're not a doctor, but after all, I call myself a magician, a killer. The guy goes out on the stage doing tricks. He says, I know that you're not... You now that the string has been cut at both the top and at the bottom, uh, upon pulling on the, we find that it, and of course, there, there's no, uh, by way of explanation as to how this is done, and this is strictly confidential because you know the magicians are very squeamish about how the tricks are done, you know. Now, over here we have a very short cast on 3.7 dark rhetoric, while over here is an extremely lengthy brass giant copay, naturally. So you see, it stands to reason. It's perfectly logical. It, if you if you pull on the short end of stairs, you have to wind up. <laughs> when it goes down, it runs down the tire pressure. While over here is extremely lengthy branch and a chauffeur. I mean, it's very simple. It's just a question of mind over matter. You don't mind, and I don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this disgusting? And vice versa, <laughs> to pull on the. But my friends, the most repulsive feature about this is the fact that even though the sticks are completely separated. Uh, every time you pull on the, you know, I, you know, I've got another one of these darn things for those of you who feel frustrated. They sent it to me. I have to use it. You see, uh, while pulling these tassels back and forth like the village idiot, if I should become bored with the whole business, it is nice to know that you can break the monotony by reaching over to the other tassel over here and doing that. <laughs> well, this thing could be carried on indefinitely. A person could die doing a thing like this. Why doesn't he? Well, I suppose by now you're thoroughly convinced that motion pictures, after all, are your best entertainment. <laughs> you, uh, ah, there you go, rolling me into a false sense of security again. Uh, I'd like to try one more little trick, if I may, before I get back on the bus. Now, this trick is so simple. It's uh, the only thing to the whole trick is it has a little uh, shaker of salt, you see? And all you have to do is keep your eyes on the salt. That's all there is to the whole trick. Just keep your eyes on the salt. I hope you won't think I'm conceited for bringing this up, but I wrote the music that goes with it. 